Yeast pengers. How corny can you get? Fa. Just because you mundane miscreants have no drama in your souls. Anyway, there he was in my a uh, big birdhouse. Beautiful, aren't they? Like glittering fragments of the rainbow. By the way, that mist I sprayed on you is derived from the nectar these birds drink. Ah, it's quite harmless. Their poison tip beaks, however, are not. A scratch or two will merely slow you down. Three or four and you'll start to get drowsy. And after that, well, I wish I could say it's been nice knowing you. <laughs> Oh, well played. Now to take a poison antidote from your miraculous belt. And I suggest you do it quickly before my cassowary's razor sharp talons rend you asunder. <laughs> Naturally, I had flown the coop by the time he escaped. Still, I almost got him. Not even close. You see, the thing you're forgetting is that there are all sorts of ways to get someone. Take my latest run-in with Batsy. It was just last night, as the entire country was tuning into its favorite talk show. It's late night Gotham Live! And here's the man who puts a smile on your face, whether you want it or not, the Joker! Folks, I'm the Joker. Living proof that you don't have to be crazy to host this show, but it helps. <laughs> We've got a real treat for you, kids. I ran into my first guest last night while making a withdrawal from the bank. You know him as the Dark Knight, but we prefer to think of him as history. <laughs> Here he is, the one and only Batman. We're back with my extra special guest. So, how's Robin? Uh, moving right along. You know, kids, we've got an item here no home should be without. The laughter-activated electric chair. <laughs> yes, sir, the mirror's titter or guffaw starts the chair's generator revving up towards maximum zappage. Harley, 